most dangerous predators captured. Let's take a look. 1. Even though the concept of death as a semi-living individual who travels about the world to collect the souls of those who are about to die is unquestionably fascinating and has provided us with some beautiful art throughout the centuries, I seriously doubt that anyone actually believes in the Grim Reaper. In any case, I very certainly do not, nor can this picture be construed as evidence of the presence of the Grim Reaper in any way, shape, or form. It is pretty clear that this is an image of a human figure wearing a white mask and a black rope. However, the mask isn't very convincing. Having said that, there is no denying the fact that it is eerie. It is reasonable to assume that whoever this unidentified person is was roaming around in the woods while dressed as the Grim Reaper, utterly oblivious to the fact that there was a trail camera in the area. This is because trail cameras are typically difficult to spot unless you stand directly in front of them. It is almost clear that his first objective was not to frighten the camera operator. Instead, it is possible that his original intention was to intimidate nature walkers and children playing in the woods. 2. There are a variety of additional challenges that animals face when they are living in the wild. Still, the majority of hunters would want to think of themselves as the greatest significant danger to the existence of wild animals. When the vast numbers of animals live in close proximity to one another, the spread of disease is an inevitable aspect of daily life. For many species, succumbing to a fatal illness is more of a question of when than if. The trail camera of this hunter was able to film an ill deer as the animal was wandering through its home forest. The deer appeared vulnerable and feeble, as though it were about to collapse from famine or exhaustion at any moment. It is unclear what ailment the unhappy deer depicted in this image is afflicted with. Still, the animal is covered with sores and boils, including a cluster that covers its eyeballs and makes it nearly hard for the animal to see where it is going. 3. Since the middle of the 20th century, humans all across the world have been reporting contact with visitors from another planet. Many of these humans allege that they were abducted by extraterrestrial entities and made to participate in humiliating and at times cruel experiments. As a result of the apparent rise in the frequency of extraterrestrial abductions, a number of people who believe they have been abducted by extraterrestrials have organized support groups so that they and other people who believe they have been abducted can talk about their experiences. If this photo is any indication, extraterrestrials aren't just interested in observing humans to learn more about our species. They are similarly fascinated by the animals that we keep, which makes sense because our animals are adorable. This image shows a deer that has been swallowed by a brilliant yellowish beam that is emanating from the sky above it. The light from this beam is significantly more intense than the light from the moon. UFOlogists believe that this picture shows a human being kidnapped by aliens, and it's hard to argue with their interpretation of the picture. 4. This is one of those photographs that you need to look at more than once if you want to have any hope of figuring out what is going on in it. If you look at it once, you won't be able to tell what's going on. At first look, it appears to be an image of a deer or anything that resembles a deer fleeing from a dangerous animal. It's not really that strange, is it? In any case, a closer inspection of the suspected dangerous animal reveals that it is unlike any other living thing in the globe at this time. It appears as though the mystery species has the body of a monkey, which is an animal that is not indigenous to forests of the United States in any way, shape, or form. If what appears to be a pair of wings can be seen, perched atop the creature's shoulder blades, then the well-known work of fiction, The Wizard of Oz, may not be as fictional as we previously believed it to be. 5. There is nothing more entertaining than a good urban legend, and the Burlington Boogeyman may very well be one of the best urban legends of all time. The legend of the Burlington Boogeyman has been told from generation to generation of locals in Burlington for a very long time. According to a local urban legend, the woods in Burlington, Pennsylvania are inhabited by the vengeful spirit of a Native American chief. According to the legend, the ghost's goal is to get revenge on his slaughtered people. Those who have had experiences with the spirit have characterized it as a kind of transparent floating skeleton, and this artwork demonstrates exactly what those descriptions mean to be. We wouldn't blame you if you lost a few hours of sleep tonight due to looking at that photograph regardless of whether or not you believe in ghosts. 6. At first sight, this photograph that was captured by a Bushnell trail camera near the tail end of 2010 appears to have nothing sinister about it. 
In the foreground of the picture is a happy-looking couple. It's possible that they are the owners of the camera, but it's also possible that they were just a husband and wife who were out for an evening stroll when they came across the gadget. In the shadows, there is, however, something that is significantly more unsettling. The unidentified beast can be seen in the upper right corner of the picture, skulking low amid the barren trees of the winter forest. The two people in the photograph, who appear to be completely oblivious to its existence, are being followed by the beast. It is difficult to discern exactly what we're looking at, but the creature does not appear to be anything that humanity is accustomed to. It has shining eyes, smooth skin, and a slender frame. 7. An individual named Dingo, who is a law enforcement officer in Georgia, is a guest on Coast to Coast AM. He is the one who released this disturbing photograph with the heading, Strange Figure on Wildlife Camera. Dingo claims that he and another police responded to a complaint about hunters trespassing on private land. Dingo's account is supported by the testimony of the second cop. The officers were unable to find the people they were looking for. In an effort to identify and apprehend the intruders, the owners of the property installed an infrared wildlife camera the following day. They appear to have instead taken something else in their pursuit. The property owner installed a wildlife camera after receiving multiple reports from the complainant and being unable to identify any hunters in the vicinity of the property. The next day, the owner of the property inspected the camera and got in touch with us so that we could look at the photographs. Because we didn't want the other person to believe we were insane, the property owner wouldn't tell me what he thought it was and I wouldn't tell him what I thought it was because we were both afraid that the other person would think we were crazy," said Dingo. 8. This photograph was published in the Surrey Advertiser in England in the month of March 2012. The spooky photograph was taken at the Mount in Guildford, and it shows a white person standing in the middle of the frame. Amateur photographer Mark Baker, who is 37 years old, claims that there was no one else in the area when he took the photograph. He also maintains that the picture has not been manipulated in any way. 9. Gary, Indiana's Douglas Tippold, a firefighter, was dispatched to the scene of a house fire. While Tippold was waiting for his partners to unwind a hose, he used the camera on his cell phone to take some pictures of the house that was on fire so that he could chronicle the situation. Donna, Tippold's wife, spotted later that night a peculiar shadowy figure that was completely consumed in flames in one of the windows of the residence. 10. A family from Kirtland, Ohio, could not believe their eyes when they saw a mysterious stranger in a photograph that included their daughter. Aaron was undergoing treatment for leukemia at the time that this shot was taken. Aaron is shown carrying sparklers as she can be seen in the snap racing through the backyard. A red figure, which the Potter family considers to be the Virgin Mary, can be seen standing next to her. I am aware that she is not alone. I am aware that we are not alone, and it is good with me if some people choose not to believe that. Regardless of what took place, you are aware that something significant and unique was in the room with us. I absolutely have my times where everything is falling apart and I'm afraid, and in those moments, I physically grab my phone and stare at that photo. Kevin Potter, Aaron's father, spoke with Cleveland's 19 Action News and said the following, Aaron Potter has been declared cancer-free at this time and her loved ones are convinced that they have seen a miracle. 11. It is estimated that as many as 64,000 patients who were admitted to Waverly Hills Sanatorium perished there during the course of its history, which led to allegations that staff members made excessive use of a device known as the corpse chute or the death tunnel. The tunnel led down to an underground room that served as a holding area for deceased patients' bodies before they were cremated and disposed of. The majority of the abandoned hospital has been left in its original state, including the mortuary and the body chute which is the location where the now famous shot was taken. During an overnight investigation at the infamously haunted sanatorium, which was led by Tom Halstead, a professional photographer, as well as an investigator for Missouri Paranormal Research, he took this shot. The authenticity of this photograph has been called into question on more than one occasion. Although Halstead passed away in February of 2013, he was questioned about these photos not long before he passed. His response was, I have nothing to prove to anyone, and he walked away. 12. Is this the specter of Anne Boleyn, Henry VIII's first wife that was captured on camera? Trevor Ty, a coach driver, brought a group of tourists to the royal palace, but while they were there, he went inside to take pictures for himself. It wasn't until he got back to his house after photographing the marble staircase in the public entrance of the palace 
that he noticed what looked to be the figure of a young woman kneeling. After Tai had sent the picture to the palace, someone there informed him that a security guard had witnessed the apparition of a young woman or girl standing in the same location on multiple occasions. 13. Photographer Nathan Ziegler traveled to the old Pioneer Cemetery in Milton Freewater, Oregon on July 23, 2013 in order to capture time-lapse footage of the setting sun at the cemetery. The camera was programmed to capture a still picture every 30 seconds at the specified interval. Ziegler, after going back and looking at the tape, saw a peculiar figure in one of the stills. The figure was only seen in one frame at the timestamp of 9.0830. Neither the frame 30 seconds before nor the frame 30 seconds after that frame contains the figure. 14. The nightclub known as the most haunted in the United States of America is located in Wilder, Kentucky and is called Bobby Mackey's Music World. Wanda Kay, who works as a club DJ and tour guide, thinks the photograph portrays a ghost ascending the stairway that is now blocked off. 15. A tragic car accident claimed the life of a young person in 1984. This shot was taken not long after the occurrence by members of the local police department. One of the police officers was required to take photographs of the accident scene using a 35mm film camera so that they could be included in the report. After the photos were produced, the authorities were perplexed and stunned by what they discovered in one of the frames. It is easy to make out what looks to be the head and shoulders of a young man directly above the open door on the driver's side of the vehicle. The young man's face is distorted in the position of a scream with his mouth wide open. Is it possible that the ghost of the young guy is reliving the final moments of his life? That's all for the video today. If you want to see more such videos, remember to like this one and subscribe for more.